In this video, we continue our discussion further on the divisibility tests for the various numbers. And let us start now by finding out if there is any divisibility test for dividing by the number 3. So in order to do that, we proceed as we did in our earlier examples. We first find out the multiples of 3. Okay, so the numbers that we have as multiples of 3 starting from 3 itself is 3, 6, 9, 11, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 42 and so on. So these are the multiples of 3 that I have written, some of the multiples of 3. Now what we did in our earlier examples when we were trying to find out the divisibility for other numbers is to see if we can find out any patterns. So let us observe these multiples of 3 and see if there is any pattern visible here. So we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Do we see any pattern or do we see anything which you can, which is strikingly unique here? Well, the thing is we do not see any obvious pattern when we have a look at these multiples of 3. So it implies that we have to do something different in order to check for the divisibility for 3. So what we'll do is now we'll try to add the digits in these multiples. And when I say add the digits, it's for more than two digits. So we start with so 3, 6 and 9. We know straightforward that they are multiples of 3. Anyway, this is a multiple of 3. So let's start with this number 12. So let's try adding the digits in these multiples. So 1 plus 2 equals 3. Okay, what is the next one? 5, 15. So we added the sum of that is 6. So I'm just writing, just adding 1 plus 8 is 9. Then again we come to 21. So 2 plus 1 is 3. We go to 18. So 1 plus 8 equals 9. Now let us go for 21. 21, 18. Okay, we have done 18, 21. I did 18 again here so it has to be 24 that is 2 plus 4 which equals to 6 27 so we add 2 and 7 that comes out to be 9 now we have 30 so 3 plus 0 comes out to be 3 now is it possible for you to see a pattern so let me just remove this here in fact it will be good if I can erase this out so that you don't get confused yes so what are the patterns that we see over here? So 12, 15, 18, when I sum them, I get 3, 6, 9. Again, 3, 6, 9, 3, and so on. Now, in this case, we are just getting all the single digits. Let's let's try a bigger number. Let's say we take this 3 and 9, 39. So what is the sum of 39? 3 plus 9, that is equal to 12. So what what is 12 here? So what, is there any pattern that you can see here? 3, 6, 9, 3, 6, 9, 12. What is the pattern that we see here? Well, if you got the pattern, right? The observation here is that all these numbers, all these sums, right? They are nothing but these numbers are divisible by 3 exactly. So or, or you can say that these numbers are multiples of 3, which you can easily make out. So the divisibility rule for number 3 is that if the sum of digits of a number is a multiple of 3, it is divisible by 3. That is all what we need to understand about. So this can be applicable to bigger numbers as well. So now let us move on and discuss the divisibility rule for the number 6. And in order to do that, we proceed again as earlier. We find out the multiples of 6. So we have 6. 
then we have 54, 60, 66, and then we have 72, we have uh, 78, and then the next one we should be having is 84, and so on. So these are the multiples of 6 that I have written here. Now, do we again see any pattern? Or anything common in this multiples of 6 well if I have a look 6 12 18 24 30 36 42 48 54 60, 60 I cannot make out anything very distinct which can help me to find out whether these numbers are divisible by 6 or not so now I want to introduce a concept here right we know that 6 the number 6 it, it, it is written as it's as a product of 2 and 3 that is 6 is 2 by 3 so let us say that I want to divide a number, let us say 42. I want to divide this number by 6. Can I also say that I want to divide this number 42 by 2, a product of 2 and 3? Right? This is, I've just simply rewritten that. Now, if this 2 is, so first I can do a division with 2 and then whatever comes here, I can do a division with 3. So this kind of says that, I mean, uh, the reason why I do this is we know that the divisible test for 2 and 3 they are very easy for us to find out. So if we can find out that a particular number is divisible by 2 and it is divisible by 3 then it is divisible by 6 also. So now let us apply this on any number let us say that we have this number 84. Okay so we take this number 84 and we check for the divisibility test of 2 which says the divisible test of 2 says that if we have a 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 then it is divisible by 2. So in this case we have a 4 in the image place it is divisible by 2. And 84 is it divisible by 3? So what we have to do is to take the sum of these numbers so 8 plus 4 right 8 plus 4 is 12 now this 12 is clearly a multiple of 3 and it's also divisible by 3 hence 84 is also divisible by 3 so since both of these numbers are since this 84 is divisible by 2 and 3 hence we say that 84 is divisible by 6 so this is the divisibility rule for the number 6 if a number is divisible by both 2 and 3 then it is divisible by 6 also which is what we have seen here so in this lecture we discuss the divisibility rules for the number 3 and number 6 and just to summarize in order to find out whether a number is divisible by 3 we just add the sum of the digits if that is a clear multiple of 3 or it is easily divisible by 3 we say that that number is also divisible by 3 and the divisibility for rule 6 is that we check the divisibility for the number 2 and number 3 and if both of them both of these tests come out to be positive that is they are both divisible by 2 and 3 then we say that that particular number is divisible by 6 as well so we'll continue this discussion on the divisibility tests in our next session.